good evening and welcome to our live crafting. My name's Jenny McCormack. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator and I'm based in the market town of Brackley, which is in Northamptonshire in the UK. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. It is the last day of February, 28th of February, 2023. And that also means it's the last day of our celebration promotion for 2023. Um, last year we had two celebration promotions, one in the early part of the year, January and February, and then the other one at the end of the summer. This year we only have one celebration and that finishes this evening, 28th of February. UK time, the latest time to place any orders would um, I would recommend would be 10.30 and ideally don't leave it too late <laughs> to do that. So I realised that I've hardly used these fun papers called A Day at the Farm and I think I used them maybe once when they first came out and I certainly used them in one of my card classes for a particular style of card and I realised I hadn't really used them since and um, today is the last day that you can get these papers for free. Hi Moretta, thanks for joining us. I hope you're feeling okay um, and that Covid doesn't catch you too much. So these papers, as you can see, are all themed around um, the farm. I've got some off cuts here that I'm going to use um, and we have these extra pieces. So we've got this one here with the nice um, Merry Merlot. We've got this one here with the fruit, the sweet corn and the peppers, cucumbers, broccoli, onion, tomatoes in very short supply here at the minute. Hi Kerry and hi Karen. Karen's watching from work. We won't tell a soul. Karen's in Ottawa and Canada. Kerry's calling from Australia. Um, hi Carol in the UK and down West Country and Scott. Um, so there's some more of these. Let me see what else. Um, that's the same one. So there's um, 12 sheets in the pack, six different sheets and there's two of each. This is part of a complete scene um, on this one and I thought what I would do, I had seen Tammy White do a pinwheel card using these papers so I thought I would try and recreate that or something like that. This is some more of this paper. This has been cut into six by six. So I knew I had done a pinwheel card when I did some of the mail cards. So I went back through my website and I found this one. <laughs> card Designs for Men, August 2021. And that was the last time I did a pinwheel card, if I can remember. Um, so I'm hoping that the measurements are correct and are unchanged. So I have just started with some white card because I was going to use, I could actually use garden green, but I wanted a colour that was in all of the papers. And this one, these lovely geese and um, chicks and uh, chickens, doesn't have any garden green on. Hi sugar. Lovely to have you join us, and hi Scylla, thanks for joining us for class this afternoon. It was really good fun, obviously you got home safe and sound. So I thought I would use basic white, or yeah, so we'll see how that goes. And on my instructions, so all of my classes, um, when you purchase a class, you can upload the instructions at any time and the resources are there the whole time and on the bottom of here was also a cutting guide to help you make the most so this card can be cut from a single a4 card 
some of the products so the papers and things like that are no longer available but the basic card design is unchanged so I'm just going to use that as a reference and I've cut my pieces of card in preparation so the base of this pinwheel card is um, da -da -dum, 10 point8 by 11 centimeters and the 11 centimeters is this width across here and we've got a small border here so what we're going to do is make this into a um, a column so I'm going to fold this over and each of these score lines is two and a half centimeters so it's 11 centimeters and it's been scored at two and a half five seven and a half and ten and that gives me a little border and what we're going to do is make that into a column like so so I'm just going to add some glue onto that and as the ladies discovered this afternoon at class all of my glues were just about near the end so I'm going to open a new liquid glue. So what I'm going to do is put the sort of base of the card together and then cut the panels. And I have one idea and now I've changed my mind. Why not? Just because I can. Okay, so these are going to be the panels that will attach to the card okay and the idea is that when this is folded down you can still get it in a standard sized um, card envelope so I'm going to put glue on this panel here and then fold this in half to get a nice flat surface to create our um, column and I always recommend doing it flat on your on your table. If you try and put it together like this up in the air, it's very easy to get it wonky or out of kilter. So wherever possible and practical, you want to um, put the glue on and keep it nice and flat. So I know this glue is going to flow well. As I say, it's... So August, September, so nearly 15, 16 months since I've done one of these. And I literally looked it up. I haven't been in very long. I literally looked it up as soon as I got in and picked up the papers. So these papers are free with an order of £45 or more. Um, but that offer finishes today. So I thought I would do that. And you can look up all the celebration ideas. Just go to my YouTube channel and one of my playlists is Celebration 2023 Inspiration. And if you click on that, you'll see lots of ideas using celebration stamp sets and celebration um, papers and products. So just going to get that nice and flat. And then what we're going to do, the height of this is 10.8. And what we're going to do is put a panel on each of these. Okay. Now the dimensions of this, you can really vary. Um, I have no idea why I've got it this measurement. I think it could probably be longer, but I think... I did it because I wanted to get it out of one sheet of A4 card. So you could actually make this quite a bit bigger if you wanted to. And then when we put these on, we're going to have two sides. We're going to have this side and then we're going to have a smaller side. So my plan is to make each of these a little seam from the papers so uh, let's see how it goes 
so we're only going to put glue on each of these panels and I apologize that it's white so although you'll see the glue as it goes on um, it won't be as easy to see necessarily the glue itself so I hope everybody is well um, I know Covid's reared its head again so I'm just going to flatten this down and put my piece of card and what you can do is just tap the card on a little bit to pick up some of the glue and help it go slightly tacky and then I'm just going to line this up on my piece let me move this out of the way and maybe find a darker piece of card to put underneath I find my piece of garden green that I was going to use okay so there's one piece on that then I'm going to fold it and put the next piece on and you want to make sure that each piece is going in the same direction otherwise your card won't your card won't open So here's the next one. That down like that. And I would definitely recommend using wet glue for this because you it gives you just that little bit of time to get it placed, move it around so it's even on either side and even to this edge here. Fold it again and the same thing. So we're going to do this four times. And there was no point in me decorating the panel first because, as you'll see, half of the panel is on one side and half of my panel is on the other. Because the temptation, if you haven't done one before, is to put a panel across here or across the whole thing okay one more and just take your time to get it nice and level and then you'll find it sits really nice and flat a scribble of glue don't go mad this is a brand new glue so I know I don't even need to squeeze the barrel of the glue put this on here let's see if I can oh Marita's cold so she's in bed bless you Marita and hi Carol thank you okay so that is the basic pinwheel and hopefully you can see that quite clearly <coughs> so you could extend this out um, what, what I like about it is when it's folded flat like that it will fit in an envelope okay um, and I think that's why I came up with those <laughs> precise measurements um, which I will put in the description of the YouTube video. Okay, so there's our pinwheel. It doesn't matter where we start. Um, what you should have is each piece should fold exactly and give you a nice um, flat surface. So we've got two surfaces to play with. We've got this one here on the left and that measures four and a half centimetres. And the one on the right is seven centimeters and the height if you want a border is 10.3 so what I'm going to do is choose the elements of my scene so I've got basically a different farm scene on each page um, now the tricky thing is only this one has got sky so my plan is to use 
elements of this one this one with the cows and the trees this one with the ducks chicks and the windmill and then either that one or this one I think probably this here but what I could do is then if I wanted to fussy cut some of the animals and lay them onto the scenes so um, you'll have to vote whether you want this one or this one so animals or the merry merlot scene in the meanwhile oh no I'm going to start yes I'm going to start with these so I did cut these up to start with um, and then I realised that it wasn't going to work because what, what I'd done was I cut that piece and then not the same one I know that piece but of course that doesn't doesn't follow to that does that make any sense so I could recover this piece actually and put those two together but I do rather like these piggies so you've got to have a little think about how they're going to go together so I could do with finding the piece that's to the left of that couldn't I so Carol says animals and Moretta says Merlot and fussy cut animals <laughs> um, let's see what else I've got um, <laughs> oh, so, oh maybe that's yes that's sort of cut from there isn't it but it's not a very interesting piece I could just cut just use this this piece here like basically like so but I'm going to cut it in the middle so I think I'm going to do that because I want a complete scene so if I want to see the paper in between I just want a little bit of a border so I'm going to do that so I'm going to start from let's see which bit I can get in maybe I'll get all of that if that makes sense so you can see I haven't thought this through before I started hey ho so I'm just going to put a little mark on here so the smaller panel wants to be according to my instructions here four and a half centimeters and this one wants to be seven so starting from that point and the whole thing is 10.3 but I'm not going to cut all of that down because I may need some of that later on so here we go so I'm going to do four and a half here that's going to be my bit on the left Hi Kate, and then what did I say? Seven and a half? Seven. Okay, let's give it a go. So I'm not going to cut the top just yet. Just want to make sure this is going to work. So here's my four and a half, and here's my seven. Yes, that works. So I know the height of those together I want to be 10.3 to give me if I want a border all the way around which I do. 
obviously you can make these um, slightly different sizes if you wish okay so that's going to be my first panel okay so let's stick that down before I do anything else I hope you're well Kate I know Kate's a bit of an animal fan okay so this is seed number one and it doesn't really matter where I'm starting on my card so that's the left and the right you could also make a nice um, book fold card as well would also work so there's one scene like so and then we're on to the next one so I'm thinking we'll have the woods next so what I can do I'm not particularly worried about where I start those because the trees are sort of everywhere so I'm going to cut this at 10.3 tall mm -hmm. Like so and then I'm going to cut my two panels from that and that is four and a half and seven so there's my four and a half and seven so I'm cutting them so that I've got this continuity here between each one okay hi Eileen thanks for joining us I appreciate you joining us so I wonder out of who's watching has got the day at the farm papers so this is my narrow one for the left hand side and then my slightly wider one for the right so you could you could increase the size of these panels quite easily you could keep the column the same this beam not bundle i was the same karen Oh, Maretta's got it for Alfie, yes. I've got the um, the papers, but not the bundle. So for those that don't know, there is a bundle of stamps and dies with a whole host of farm animals on it, which would be perfect to put with this. Okay, so there's my cows in the trees. I think next I'm going to have my ducks and that. Let me see if I've got a piece I can use here. This has got some nice chicken wire as well on the back. So I'm going to do the same thing. Cut it 10.3 tall. And then we've got, as I remember, a four and a half and a seven. One. These pieces would be great for one of the cards um, that we made at class today with strips of papers. Okay, so this one's going to go on to here. And I haven't, I deliberately haven't left space for my sentiment because I can pop that on a die cut. But you could leave either one of the small pieces. The short side oh mountain scene papers yes it would Kate Carrie says um, her packet arrived and they would be good for her grandson's birthday card absolutely 
which is what Moretta's done. <laughs> and um, Kate's saying it would be good with the mountains. Yes, it would. Use the green field with fussy cut animals. Oh yes, that might be nice. That might be nice rather than the red. Good idea. Okay. There we go. So I've got a different scene. How sweet is that? Two, three. And then finally, let's see if I've got enough of the green field paper. I'm sure I have somewhere. It's on the back of the cows and the trees. Probably doesn't really matter. Yeah, that's a great idea. And that's still in keeping then, isn't it, with my little bit of scenery. I wonder if this is the right height. Slightly too short. Okay, 10.3. I just realised I've left my shopping in the kitchen. And there's a loose dog in the house. Right, four and a half and seven. There we go. So lots of little panels, which is great. So not the best use of my papers. I have rather um, cut them up without really thinking. There we go. But when it's the last of the celebration, I'm going to use it up anyway. So if you would like these, then let me know and place your order by this evening. And I'll be I'll probably be ordering about 10 o'clock, maybe half past 10. So if there's anything you want to get celebration, then let me know. Oh bless you. <laughs> Thank you, Karen. Karen's off back to work. There we go. But it was her, might be in her coffee break, maybe. Okay, so we've got three cute scenes. I think animals on here is perfect. We've got a little sheep here, so if I find another one, I might be able to put another sheep on there. Look. So. And I just want ones that are in keeping size-wise. So I think this cow would look rather good. And maybe a chicken. Now if you had the stamps and the dies, or even just the dies, you could, you know, just die cut some out or stamp and die cut them. Let's grab a pair of scissors. And do a quick a bit of fussy cutting. So it's only the papers that are stopping. Hi, hi Trudy. I hope you're well. Um, let's find the dies. Here we are on the farm page. It's either 24 or 34. 34. Yes. So these are the stamps. So you've got the sheep, you've got the trees, you've got the cows, the pigs, clouds, the farm buildings, the chicken, and the hillside. And then the dies, if we look at page 81, and I think if you're a teacher or if you've got grandchildren, this would be such good fun. Hi Claire. Um... I know you can't really see because that's quite a small picture. Uh, the largest die is near is two and a half inches. Um, so you've got the hillside, but you've got cows, the pigs, and then smaller pigs, multiples of ducklings, um, 
you've got the sheep with some embossing to make it look like you can put um, the sheep's wool, that's the word, and then um, ducks, rabbit and the windmill and then also cuts out some of the other elements from the stamp set so a very sweet little bundle and I'm sorry that picture is so small so let's pop that out of the way and so I think um, this cow here on there would look quite good fun and then I might have might have the pig um, I could I could see if there's another cow but I'm just gonna go for it um, I might even cut his tail out which is asking a lot of me if you know me I'm not a big fussy cutter There we go. Just going to cut this bit out quickly. If I'm not making sure it's going to fit on there. She is. This reminds me of when I was a little girl and I had a fuzzy felt on the farm set. So taking me back to my childhood okay. so I'm not sure if this tail will actually last but we'll see if not I could draw it in so just going to hop around here and I'm just cutting along the line and it's because it's got a nice outline actually it's quite easy she says proceeding to cut one of the others off if I'm not careful there we go this is where a good pair of snips is essential because you can get right into those corners because they've got a very pointed end to the scissors as opposed to a, a flat end. Okay, getting there. So I could have chosen another piece of um, paper that had the cows on but what I didn't want is half a cow <laughs> or half a pig there we go so not too bad all things considered so we could have our cow up on the hill here or down here like so and maybe I'll put I won't get the mother and the baby pig in on the left hand side I would get them on the right so maybe I'll just cut out mother pig or the sheep I'll go for the sheep although I haven't got a pig in there have I The sheep could be up on the on the hillside further up. Okay, so I can't believe it's the first of March tomorrow. You'll want to watch um, my Facebook and my website tomorrow for some brand new products that are arriving I know some of them but not all of them and I have some of them to show you so I will be demonstrating with them in the morning so 
but if you're able to join me at 10 a.m. tomorrow you can be amongst the first to see them okay Whose idea was it to fussy cut? There we go. <laughs> so we've got a cow, a sheep. Let's see how we go with the piggy. So. Sorry, this must be quite boring for you watching this oh excellent okay so Kerry will have seen the new products before um, we do because Kerry's in the um, is in America oh, Kerry's in Australia and so they go live for them earlier than for us well, what would be the same time, but obviously they're hours in advance. I rather like the look of the rhinos. They're very cute. And the papers and things and that are lovely. Okay. Right. I might have to cut his curly tail off and give him a curly tail. Some things are just too, <laughs> too much. <laughs> okay, so I've got that combination. Let's see. So I could also put another, I could put another sheep on here, for example. So I've got two sheep there. This one is self-explanatory because it's already got the cows on. <laughs> because I cut, because I cut his curly tail off, Kate. Hmm. Okay, so this cow is definitely going on this side because it's a bigger side and I've got him facing that way so I could have him up here or down here and my piggy minus his curly tail for the moment there I think that would work actually because you could put a birthday thing on there so I'm going to put these am I going to put these I'm going to put these flat you could put them on dimensionals but bear in mind when you fold this up especially if you've got them obviously to each other you're going to have two lots of dimensionals clashing on here and it won't sit flat or as flat in the envelope Okay, so I'm going to put these on flat. You could also use a pen just round the edge um, to make sure there was no white showing. Just moving that little bit of ink glue even tiniest bit on the tail. Um, so where do we think? It's going to sit there. Or stand there rather. Okay. And I think the sheep needs to go on there. And then my piggy goes on there. Yes, definitely. The trees or the animals. Yes, or the one 
With the ducks, yes. Definitely. Where do you think our piggy should go? It's a bit big to be up there, isn't it? I think he needs to be grounded here. And I will draw his tail in. Little piggy. Like so. And this bit on there. and I'm going to put my other sheep I know he's facing the other way but hey ho in front of the barn that's it There he is. Let's get my pen out to do a curly tail. This is where it all goes wrong. <laughs> I'm going to have to practice my curly tail. <laughs> there he is. Tiny curly tail. <laughs> oh, well done, Moretta. That's a bit of fun, isn't it? I like the fact you've got three scenes. I say I saw. Um, I can't remember how she how she put it together, um, but I saw that Tammy White, um, demonstrator from the US, had done this as one of her pinwheel cards I think she had eight or nine altogether over time so there we go you could also cut out some clouds not for this scene but you could cut out some clouds and put them somewhere else um, on here this has got the base of the clouds so you could um, cut out more of that if you wanted to and pop it up on there so I'm happy with that. I love the way it stands and it's a really solid card and it folds and fits in a standard envelope, which is perfect. So all that remains is um, a die cut and a sentiment. Let's see what I've got in my box to hand, but that was the main element really to show you because it is now quarter to eight. Hi, Michelle. Um, let's just see, I really want quite a small, I mean I could do a little banner, <coughs> that would definitely work somewhere wouldn't it? Um, let me see if I've got anything else small, I suppose, not necessarily on that page, I've also got this one, it would work. the same isn't it so let's have a look I think you're quite right I think they need to go on these ones because this is just detailed so I think you could do a happy birthday on there and then space to write something here or could do a small happy birthday up there and then a bigger banner here for your sentiment like that happy birthday and then that or <laughs> happy birthday and your panel here too many? Are we thinking too many choices now? It's got a mark in it. All that. 
than that. <sighs> I can't actually decide. I think you need to, <laughs> I think you need to decide for me. Oh dear. That's what comes when you've had a little bit of time out, isn't it? Um that sort of, that sort of feeling um more in keeping I have to say happy birthday and then leave that for your sentiments Kerry likes it on the duck page this one here and you think a happy a small happy birthday up there and then leave that for the you know with lots of love from The other thing you could do is put somebody's um, name on with the alphabet. Carol says on the duck page too. Okay, let me just find. Do we want a circle and a banner? Or a banner and a banner? Let me just grab a quick happy birthday. might do the job uh, so what do we reckon banners banners okay so no circles um, so I've got this small little happy birthday that will do I was looking for the one from the family set because it's quite it's a little bit bolder more bold it's more bold and this has got black and it's got a bit of brown in so I'm going to go any guesses I can find it and espresso I said that quickly there we go you all for your assistance this evening okay just try that Happy birthday there we go that will work and what I I want to do is actually just cut that off on the left hand side because it's it's just a little bit tight fit there. Could have stamped it a little bit further over to be fair. Yeah, that works. And again, I'm going to stamp this, um, attach this flat so that the whole card will fold up properly for the envelope. So I put it in there. Hi Valerie, I hope you're well, thanks for joining us, we are just wrapping up but enough for you, I'll be able, you'll be able to see the finished card um, and then I think this one going that way and then just cut off so you can write, you know, with love from, oh that's very clever, so Kerry says if you were to put a name you could stamp and punch out the name with the alphabet set and that's the one that has the little tags with the letters and put it on the tree page so or actually it would work on there nicely as well 
but yes you could spell out somebody's name like Alfie that's a brilliant idea especially if you stamped it and put it on um, if you had a green piece and then stamp the name and cut it out like it okay so I'm just going to put put that one in there just going to trim it with the trimmer because I don't trust me to cut that straight So, it's a shame to cut up the wind, um, cut out the wind, um, lose the windmill bit, but it needs to go down there. Maybe a bit more. Some great ideas, though, everybody. Thank you. And the other thing this would be really good fun for would be a pop-up card. So especially if you had the dies, you could have a pop-up box with all the different animals in. And if you didn't have the dies, you could fussy cut all the animals. Hmm. Okay. Let me just show you what Kerry was referring to. And then we have this um, set called Alpha Best, and we've got these little images here. And so you could stamp, for example, with a light green, and then their name, and then there's a punch that cuts out this shape. So it'd be really easy to do that. There is also a brand new stamp set that has a larger alphabet on, and I bet that fits on there. Uh, it would have to be a small name so this is a sneak peek as to one of the um, stamp sets that's coming out tomorrow it's called classic letters it's actually 60% size much bigger in real life as you can see so it would just make it so if you did want to put I mean Alfie wouldn't fit on that <laughs> but if you had a short name Tom for example then you could spell that out on here there's a T T O M or you could stamp and cut around it or stamp and um, just cut some shapes you know squares or something so quite a few ideas with that but this is what I wanted to create which was a pinwheel card with those fun papers just to show you a different use for those and to remind you today is the last day that you could get them um, but this pinwheel card you could use for lots of different occasions with lots of different papers I love the idea of the mountain papers, also the by the bay papers, the seaside seascape ones, that would also work with this. So maybe I need to do a few more pinwheel cards coming up soon because it stands so well and it, I think for youngsters you've got you know four different scenes or at least three and then your sentiments so let me just bring it up to the screen so we've got that one there we've got that one there our little scene and then the trees and the cows if you wanted to you could use this right the way across have this on all of the sides that would definitely work and then fussy cut 
as many animals as you would like or if you've got the dies stamp and cut out as many animals as you want that'd be a lot easier um, and then you could create your own scene you could also just do it on plain card and then put your own scene in yourself with blending brush brushes for the base and clouds and um, mountains so there we go i've talked far far too long but i hope you liked it i'm pleased with the result um, it's worked out better than I um, thought, considering I didn't give it much thought. And uh, all I did was look out my instructions, um, which luckily are on my website. So I will put the dimensions in the YouTube video. So if you want to recreate this, bear in mind, this fits a UK envelope. So I've used UK sizes. If you're in America and you want to recreate something like this, you could go to Tammy White's blog, which I think is stampwithtammy.com. But if you just look for Tammy White, T-A-M-I, then you'll find the American sizes or take the English sizes and do a um, conversion, online conversion. So, thank you so much. I hope you like that little bit of fun uh, day at the farm. Uh, it's definitely time for me to go. Put that shopping away and get some dinner cooking. So, thank you for joining me. I will be back tomorrow morning, 10am, show you some more of these lovely new products that we have starting from tomorrow. I uh, have some papers, some stamp sets to show you. So, I do hope you're able to join me. Thank you so much. Um, do have fun. Moretta, if you um, make a card like this for Alfie, love to see the finished result. Do pop it on my Gemini Crafts page. And in the meantime, have a great morning, afternoon or evening, depending on when and where you're watching from. And I look forward to crafting with you soon. Thank you so much, everyone. And thanks for all your input. Great, um, great finished card between us. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye for now.